installed the room and board uh, pendants. I believe these may be the Abra, but they're in different shapes, as you can see. And I use the, uh, the uh, Canopy of Five uh, ceiling mount um, to hang these from. And I learned a few lessons, a few hard lessons along the way, and just wanted to share them with you. Uh, so one of the first things is that when I was installing this, uh, this ceiling mount here uh, did install like rather easily, but the wood screws that came with it, these right here, um, these, I used something that was a little bit uh, shorter, uh, but thicker. So these, these did not work out too well for me. Um, my advice would be to get something a little bit thicker and my helper is getting really frustrated with me. So you may hear a little bit of whining in the background. Oh, I'm gonna take her, come here. All right, so she's won some attention. Uh, let's see, so install the, uh, this bracket here, just like the instructions say on the inside to the ceiling. And what you'll see is a, if I can find it, is you'll see something like this um, coming down like right from the, the center part of your ceiling mount. Now you may see a bracket like this that's already installed at the location where you're gonna hang your new lights. So if this were up in the ceiling, if you could imagine, I have a little drawing here. This bracket is what you may see up inside of the ceiling. And this is one of the more tricky things that I ran into is that once you have all of your wires cut to length, just like they explain inside here, uh, on the instructions on step number three once you have your wires cut to length go ahead and put them through the canopy here as they instruct but one thing that i didn't learn uh, right away is that um, here uh, i didn't really notice that they advise you to remove the glass bulbs first, but the reason I left these on when I was measuring the uh, measuring the, uh, the the cord is because I want these are at different lengths and different shapes, and I wanted to lay them down in the floor just to see what this arrangement would look like. Um, and I used several different pictures to sort of get an idea. But once you, and I would advise you to leave the glass, whatever shape you use, leave it on as you're measuring your cords. Once you have them measured and cut, just like the instructions say, take this off and it just unscrews, unscrews rather from the inside in there. There's just a little plastic uh, round uh, uh, holder. So take those, all of those off, and then run the wires through the uh, canopy here, just like they instruct. And what you'll see is there are, once you put them, the wires, you put them up through inside of the canopy, is you'll see these little holders. Now this part right here that has the threads on it, um, you, you will not be using this actual one. So just imagine this if it did not have these threads and that, that's what'll come with your kit that you should use. So once you put it up inside, you will tighten this down. And I marked my cord to length with a little piece of tape. Just like they instruct in the in the manual or the instructions but what i did that was different is i use uh, just regular scotch tape because it was thin enough to slide up inside of the canopy and i pulled it up 
inside until I couldn't see the tape anymore. And then I knew that the, the length was exactly where I wanted it to be. Then I tightened this down inside of the canopy, just like they instruct here. So once you have all of your cords inside of your canopy uh, set, and you gotta make sure that they're very secure because once you put the globes on, you'll notice that uh, it, it gets much heavier. Uh, so all of these are the same, except for this middle one right here, which is the largest globe that I have that goes all the way up there to the middle. That one installs completely differently. So what happens is, you, you'll see this inside of your ceiling at the location where you're installing your lights and let me move this over out of the way. The middle one installs like this. So you'll see this, this may already be installed in your ceiling. And just imagine if this piece right here were this uh, location right here. So that, that's your box. And the middle one installs like this. Instead of going through the canopy like the others, that cord will go up. Well, actually you will install a uh, you will install that piece right there. Um, let's see if I can point it out. That piece right there will slide on over your cord and it will install, it will have to be on the bottom and it will be installed down here. So let me zoom back out. let me there we go okay so you will have that on the bottom like so before and imagine if your canopy is right here so this is one of the first things you'll do after your cord your center cord is cut to length put this this center piece on that I just pointed out then run your cord through this huddled out um, I'll call it like a, a retaining bolt, I guess. And then once you get it pulled through up into your electric or outlet box, this piece right here, then you will slide down your retaining clip and once, then you'll adjust it for length like so, and then you will tighten this down really tightly. Then you will push it back down toward your other lights, back down toward the canopy, like so. So that way it can attach. So this, this is what you'll have It'll be right there. And then it will be pulled down so that it can be connected to the electrical connectors, just like your other wires for your other pendants. The other thing is, you may notice that coming out of your ceiling, out of your home's original wiring, you'll see a black and white, which that's pretty self-explanatory. It'll connect to the black and white of each one of your pendants. But there's one wire. This, uh, this is your ground wire. So you'll have a black, white, and a ground coming out of the ceiling. That's part of your home's original wiring. And you can attach it to the bracket that comes with your kit. You'll see some little green screws or you can attach it to this piece here like I did.
this again this just mounts right up inside of your box okay so now you have all five of the wires cut to length and you have them secured with these little collars and your globes are not attached at this point so uh, now you'll have your canopy you'll have it ready to go up and attach to the ceiling and what i had to do was you have two of these wires they're like the same length as a coat hanger but um these were not enough because what happens is that you put each one of the two that comes with it on each side of the canopy like so and there are these little triangular holes where these will install the problem was that once i installed it if i can get this piece out here imagine this is this is the canopy and what happened was that it would rock from side to side like this while i was trying to work on it and when i was trying to wire all of the wires all uh, five pendants wire them to the uh, power uh, it was rocking back and forth so what i did was i got a coat hanger and I cut a couple more. So that way I had, let me move the instructions over here out of the way. I had the ceiling plate. I had them on all four sides just for um, stability. And these will break. Um, if, like I just pulled this one out a little bit more so I could hook it inside of the uh, of the round ceiling plate up there and I hung it from the original bracket but because I bent this I was really surprised it broke uh, so that's why it's shorter than this other one so if you bend these just beware that it can uh, break and then I had to re-bend it and that scared me a little bit um, because I didn't want this whole thing to fall down on the floor. And so I did not have this trouble with the coat hanger. So I just wanted that extra bit of security. So once I had the ceiling plate and I had all of these hooked into the plate and I had them hooked into my bracket. So there's holes right here on the bracket. You can see them and these will hook right in there and they will hook right in there on all four sides once you have it in place then i started doing the wiring now i think it, it's wise to go ahead before you uh, before you use your these uh these hooks to attach it to the ceiling I would go ahead and wire each one of these to your pendants. So you have five pendants in my case, and each pendant has a black and a white wire. So that's 10 wires total. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, the only exception is that you will C2 that's 11 and this is 12 these two this is a white um, this is a white wire set and this is a black wire set this will attach to your home's original wiring your hot wire it's black it'll attach to the black one and this up here will attach to the white one that comes down out of the ceiling. So there's the black, let's just say black, and then here's the 
white one and and you just attach that and then your ground will attach to the bracket okay so go ahead and attach all 10 of these wires to your pendants before you lift it lift this up uh, to it to and use the hooks to attach it to the ceiling so what you'll have is you'll have your pendant wires coming out and then you will have them all like attached and lay them down as flatly as you can because when you try to compress all of these wires up against the ceiling there's really not that much room because this bracket fits down inside there so try to fit your wires in these empty spaces because you don't want if, if they get trapped under here it's really hard to make the canopy itself fit nice and flat against your ceiling and allow the bracket to slip inside so do this you know on a table or down on the floor or whatever so attach all those wires then use these hooks and attach it to the ceiling and that way the only two wires that you'll have to connect are the ones coming out of your ceiling the original wiring you'll have your white and your black so just two wires to connect once you use all four of these hooks to connect your canopy okay so this is what the uh, this is what the pendant wires look like, and the way that I got a nice clean cut like this is some people use um, you know like wire cutters like this, and there's a, a sharp like middle edge, and you know they can cut the wire and slide off a piece like this protective jacket right here will just slide off and then it will expose the uh, these two black and white wires what I did a little bit different is I use this to just cut a nice clean edge all the way around very delicately because you don't want it to cut down into your your inner inside uh, power wires so once I cut that off, I was able to slide this off. Then I used the, uh, this was a 18 gauge. So I was able to just clip it in the 18 gauge spot or location and then slide it off. And that gave me a nice clean cut. So that's about three quarters of an inch. Okay, so once you have all of your wires put together and you have snugged everything down on the floor first using your, your wire nuts and here's some, just the ones that came with it I believe are yellow so you just attach them just like they illustrate in the instructions. So then you attach the two remaining wires that connect to your home's wiring. You twist them together and then you'll slide the nut on over it and, and then wire it all together. Okay, now you have the four hooks holding up your canopy you have attached the black or the black and the white wire to your your home's original wiring to the power wiring and now all you have left to do you've secured all of your wires or all of your pendant um, your pendant cords all that is secure all the wiring is done and connected all of the copper is covered 
you can't have any exposed cover. These, these wire nuts have to completely cover everything. You can't have any of the wires touching. So make sure everything is, is done properly and that everything is nice and flat and doesn't get trapped. Now, the next thing you do is you have to remove these hooks and again, make sure that no, none of the glass globes are connected at this point. So next, you will push, once the hooks are out of the way, you're ready to install. So what you'll do is, let's see if it shows here in the instructions, I don't think it does, but what you'll do is, this was kind of a little bit tricky. You will push this up to your bracket and you will have this threaded bar right here or this threaded, um, I'll just call it, a, I guess a bolt. Um, this will be sticking down and then you take your plate up and you push it up toward the light. And this is, this is a, a much smaller little plate, but we'll just show you right here. So your, your, your ceiling plate will go up and attach like that. Then you will slide your collar up like so and then you will screw this on which I'm having trouble doing with one hand but you'll screw that on and that will hold your plate securely against the ceiling okay next thing you'll do is you will attach your plate or you'll secure it with the screws that go in the side here so you can see uh, the plate has these little holes right here. And you line them up with these little holes and you put the screws in as one of your final steps. So once you push this up and line up all the holes, remember it's already secured. It's being held um, by that uh, like like this so you have that uh, that collar screwed on right there so it's holding the whole thing together so you just go around and put in your screws on all four sides all right so you're almost there the last thing that you want to do is you will so you have the, the plate secured and next thing you want to do is install the globes themselves. And I'm going to try to, uh, there is a, let me get a pointer. There is a plastic ring right there that you will slide your globe up onto this threaded piece right here. Then once the threaded piece comes down through the globe, then take this plastic, uh, I'll call it a nut or securing ring and make the light bulbs are also out on this part of the installation. And then you just screw it around and you hold it at the top while your hand is up inside screwing this this uh, retaining nut around this threaded portion so you make sure that there's no space left so this is completely secured and tight and now you have all your globes installed uh, you have your your canopy installed nice and snug against the ceiling and the last thing you do is put in your light bulbs and give it a test drive. And during the installation process, these lights will have fingerprints all over them, 
on the inside and the outside. So it's probably a good idea before you put in your lights just to clean it, clean the globes like really well. I used um, this invisible glass, which worked really well. And also, this is really important, um, I used some gloves uh, to put these in, because otherwise it's, I mean, you're just gonna have fingerprints all over them and it's really hard to clean. Um, one other pointer is to use, I have a full set of um, both Phillips and flathead drivers because there are different size screws and it's a good idea to have a, um, some kind of a little drill bit. This is a small one here that I only use to uh, put in smaller screws, uh, but this is a lifesaver. Um, so, you, so reinstall your lights after you clean the globes. And then the last thing that you'll wanna do is, um, and this is just an option. This is something I thought, you know, if you're gonna put in a light that's as nice as this one, to go ahead and put in a, um, a nice dimmer. This, is, uh, this one's made by Lutron. I think it's called a Cassetta. And that way I can dim it down. And I can also control this on my phone as well. So anyway, that is everything. Um, I hope you guys, I hope somebody finds this useful. I didn't have any luck finding anything myself on. Um... Okay, so uh, I just got a phone call that interrupted the video. So anyways, we've got everything installed. I've gone over everything. So you guys, um, please enjoy. Uh, your lights. These are beautiful. Uh, I haven't put the table underneath them just yet, but um, it's going to make a huge difference. This is what used to be hanging up there. And uh, so I see this as a major improvement and I'm super excited about it. Thanks.